Footnotes from the Life Application Study Bible. Because it is impossible for a camel to go through the eye of a needle, it appears impossible for a rich person to get into the kingdom of God. The disciples were astounded. They thought that if anyone could be saved, it would be the rich, whom their culture considered especially blessed by God. How do riches get in the way? Many who become wealthy have relied on their own efforts, drive, and focus. Through skillful enterprise, they have accumulated money and power. To lay these values and drives at Jesus' feet would be very difficult for them. Jesus explained, however, that with God, everything is possible. Anyone can enter the kingdom as God graciously brings them in. When they become followers of Jesus, they will want to share their wealth in God's service. Has faith in yourself or your money become excess baggage that you need to lay aside? In the Bible, we see God rewarding his people according to his justice. In the Old Testament, obedience often brought rewards to people in this life. But obedience and immediate rewards are not always linked. If they were good people, would always be rich, and suffering would always be a sign of sin. As believers, our reward is God's presence and power through his indwelling Holy Spirit. Later, when Jesus rules and the whole world is made new, we will be rewarded for our faith and service. If material rewards in this life came to us, for every faithful deed, we would be tempted to boast about our achievements and act out of wrong motivations. Jesus assured the disciples that anyone who gives up something valuable for his sake will be repaid many times over in this life, although not necessarily in the same form. For example, a person may be rejected by his or her family for accepting Christ but he or she will gain the larger family of believers. Jesus turned the world's values upside down. Consider the most powerful or well-known people in our world. How many got where they are by being humble, self-effacing, and gentle? Not many. But in the life to come, the last will be first. Don't forfeit eternal rewards for temporary benefits. Be willing to make sacrifices now for greater rewards later. Be willing to accept human disapproval while knowing that you have God's approval.